What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Happy Memorial Day, and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be talking about a quick tutorial on how to run the New York Giants playbook, Giant Slot Trail. Uh, but before we get into the Giant Slot Trail, I just want to quickly ask a couple of, uh, ask for your feedback on this. Uh, what do you think about uh, a potential Twitch stream? Uh, would you guys be interested in me stream live streaming? Would you not? Uh, if I was interested in maybe potentially starting it, would you be interested in me doing it? like once a week uh, every day what would you look for there and then um, the only other question I have for you guys today is that at the end of the video if you can tell me what's your favorite uh, part of the video part of the videos I do what's your favorite series is is it the scheme of the week is it the play of the day is it the concept the sim stuff that I do is it the depth chart breakdowns is it, is it potential gameplay that I will be doing soon uh, what does that uh, look like for you guys what's your favorite video that I do okay guys uh, without further ado we're gonna hop into this New York Giants base formation uh, so we are in the Giants playbook the play that we're gonna be running is from the shotgun normal wing pats and the play is the Giants slot trail uh, you guys might have remembered this from current Jim Madden on Xbox 360 uh, it was one of my favorite plays in the game um, and we're going to be talking today about why it's even one of my favorite plays in the game on next gen. Uh, okay, so here we go. So basically, the only adjustments we want to make is we want to take Darren Sproles. We want to put him on a wheel route. Now, after that, we have a couple of different things we can do. Now, if the if the coverage is two two high safeties, this either means it's cover two, cover two men under, or cover two sink. So in that scenario, we're going to potentially get a press on the outside. So we're going to leave Colson on that comeback route instead of putting him on a smart routed out route. And then the only thing we want to do here is we want to take Jimmy Graham and we want to put him on a zig pattern. And you see that's the setup. Now, um, and we're going to show you what we want to look for here. Our first read every single time is the slot trail wheel route. You see with the pass lead up, it does a very nice job at beating man-to-man -man coverage. Okay. And then uh, also, guys, we want to motion snap that slot trail in about, about a step or two. Um, our second read is this wheel route to the running back. It's actually a little bit more explosive because it's Darren Sproles catching it. Uh, so as you see, it's, it's even better. Our third read, after we look there, we want to look uh, quickly back to uh, Jimmy Graham, pass lead to the outside. And you see that once he's cutting out on his zig, he's going to be wide open. And then the, um, the uh, fourth read is going to be the slot trail. Uh, when it comes back across the grain, as you see, uh, sometimes you can fit it in against man coverage. Sometimes you can't, uh, but it's worth it's worth a look. Just kind of look, see if it's open. Uh, just a quick glance. But as you see there, that time we got a huge gain against man. So you see what I'm talking about there. And then uh, uh, right off of that read, we're going to have this route to this deep post to Kenny Stills. Click on, make a user catch. And uh, that's just basically right off of that. Uh, you're looking at triangle and square at the same time. Um, the reason is that if you they aren't open, you can pass lead down this comeback route to um, to Marcus Colston on the outside here. And uh, the thing about the comeback route is they're a little finicky, and you want to wait until he's he's lit up. As you see, he's cutting back to the outside there. That's going to give us the clearest animation uh, and the best, in my opinion, the best way to uh, assure a, a, just a standard catch. As you see, as soon as this icon lights up, I'm going to throw it with a pass lead down. So that's what I will. it looks like against two high safeties. Now what about against one high safety? So like a cover three or cover two. Against one high safety like this, or not, excuse me, one high safety, but off coverage. Against off coverage like this, we're going to take the outside receiver on the right here. Instead of putting him on a comeback route, we're going to put him on a smart routed out route. The reason we're going to do this is because we're going to basically, it's a, little, it's a little bit better of a route than the comeback if it doesn't get pressed. Um, so we're going to still run the same thing. Everything's the same. The reads are the same. And you see here against a cover three, we could still fit that into Lawrence, or excuse me, Lance Moore there. I don't know why I call him Lawrence. Uh, but you see that there. Now, another thing I want to know is if they're in like a cover four curl flat zone or if they even just put a curl flat over there, uh, you can see uh, you could still even fit this route in, but he's going to get a catch tackle. So the tell is if that uh, if that Robinson uh, or slot, slot DB, if he attacks more, or if, excuse me, if he attacks Darren Sproles, then you know you could hit more. If he doesn't attack Darren Sproles, then you're going to hit Darren Sproles. But you see how that works. It's a quick little read over there on that outside. Um, the next thing in our progression, if I remember correctly, is the wheel route, which is against the cover three. Like I said, that's what it talk, we'll talk about the two-man read, uh, because you see here this wheel route is, is going to get batted down or picked. And so you don't want to throw that against cover three. Um, but what you also, again, that's what I'm talking about though, while, while we're on the subject, if they're in a purple zone, watch what the wheel route will do against the cover three uh, real quickly. And you see with that passage to the outside, now we get that extra blocker, we have a little bit of room, and we can kind of work, get a couple quick yards. 
So you see how that works uh, against a cover three buzz type of scenario. All right, so say they do that and they do that. So now we're going to pr progress on to our next progression, which is the uh, underneath little zig route. And you see that the flat zone is going to sit on the underneath zig route. So it's the same basic theory that we're doing on the left, we're also gonna do on the right side. Okay, so we're gonna have the zig and the out, but now, since they're gonna go with the zig, we're gonna throw that smart routed out route passively down to the outside. But if they are in a cover three, and they take their guys and they say, okay, we're gonna run this, and we're gonna put the, the curl to flat zone out there, then what should happen is this route to Jimmy Graham should be wide open on the third progression. And as you see, it's going to sit in that zone, give us a couple quick yards, and you see how that works. So, um, but the best route against the cover three, um, if, it, if if they're buzzing, uh, so if they're putting those uh, flat zones and curl flats, the best thing that you're going to have is the uh, deep post to Kenny Stills. So we'll show you what that looks like here, real quick. Passing down to the inside, you see it's wide open. And uh, we got a pretty nice look there. So, anyways, guys, that's the giant slot trail play broke down against man and zone. I hope that that uh, was a beneficial uh, video for you guys. If again, uh, there's two questions at the beginning. What is your favorite uh, series of videos that I do? And uh, also, what would you uh, what would you have to say about a live stream potential? Uh, so, thanks for your time, guys.